Do you see this insect right here that I'm pointing to? Let's see what it does when I touch it. Oop, did you see that? In case you missed it, it jumped super far for its size. That's called a flea beetle, and I'm Carrie. Welcome to another episode of Farm Your Yard, and I'm out here at Columbia's Agriculture Park in our demonstration garden, looking at some of this beautiful arugula we planted a few weeks ago. As you can see, we have some pest pressure on the arugula, so let's get a closer look. A question we often get asked is, what is this thing that's doing damage to my plants? I see the damage, but I don't know what it is. When you see very precise round holes peppered through the leaves of your plants. In gardener speak, we call it shotgun style holes. That is almost always done by the flea beetle, which is that little guy you saw at the very beginning of the video. Flea beetles are so tiny that you normally see the damage well before you see the flea beetle, if you even notice the flea beetle at all. There's a lot of different genuses of flea beetles. There's the horseradish flea beetle, and then there's the eggplant flea beetle, and then there's the striped flea beetle that we've got out here. Uh, and there's more and more and more flea beetles than what I just named. But each flea beetle uh, makes the same type of damage uh, no matter what plant it's eating. And I should say each genus of flea beetle likes one type of crop. So the striped flea beetle, what we've got here, likes to eat arugula, it likes to eat radishes, it likes to eat the bok choy we've got out in the planting for the pantry rose. So it likes things in the brassica family, uh, which is a really big plant family that includes kale and collards, broccoli, and the list goes on and on. There's another type of flea beetle called the eggplant flea beetle that you might also find in your garden. And these flea beetles specifically eat the leaves of eggplants and other things in their family like tomatoes and maybe peppers. So I can just take a casual glance at this arugula and also these radishes over here and see lots and lots of little tiny holes. And then I had to get real down into the leaves to be able to find the um, flea beetles kind of like crawling in and out and chewing on the leaves. They could just do a small amount of damage, um, but they definitely have the ability to severely injure your plants. Now that you know what is causing the damage to your leaves, what do you do about flea beetle damage? Well, depending on what you've got crop-wise that you're trying to protect from flea beetles, we have a whole assortment of different methods to control flea beetles. So let's take this arugula, for example. Because arugula is such a um, quick crop, and in this garden bed, we're not trying to sell it like a farmer would for a farmer's market. Um, it's okay that we have some damage from the beetles. We're just gonna eat it and be happy with what we have. Now, for things like bok choy that live longer in the fields and thus have a longer time to be damaged by flea beetles, we have a couple different methods. One, we cultivate around the base of plants with hose to cover up the pupa and the larva of the flea beetle. The flea beetle lives most of its life underground around the roots of the plants. So by cultivating around the plants with hose, we can kind of like bury them a little bit and weaken their population numbers. For the mature adults that are already out of the ground and eating the leaves of the bok choy, we also use diatomaceous earth uh, to physically kill the flea beetles when they're on our longer lived plants. And sometimes we use insect netting to create a physical barrier between the flea beetles and the plants. In the case of really sensitive crops like eggplant, they can eat so much of the leaf that they permanently stunt the plant or even kill a young plant. Another thing you can do on a small backyard scale is plant really sensitive plants like eggplant in containers, which physically hoists them up off the ground so that flea beetles can't jump up to them. We have more videos on all of those things if you're interested in learning more in depth processes about how to use all of those methods to keep your plants safe from pests. So just like in any gardening task, 
daily observation of your crops and knowing what to make with the information your plants are telling you. Like in this case, that all my arugula leaves have little shotgun style holes. Now you are armed with some more information from this video to help you identify what pest is causing damage to your crops. And now you know a little bit more of what to do. As always, we hope that this was really helpful information in your gardening journey. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.